Morning everyone, we are back on the squirrels again today on this feeder which I haven't shot for quite a while because they haven't really been hitting it this year but trail camera's been out and it's seen a few squirrels so I'm hoping to knock some back this morning. So what I generally find is the pheasants are usually out of bed before the squirrels but hopefully I may get a bonus pheasant if they appear later on. But for now we're going to be concentrating on this little fella here. Our first squirrel of the morning. You always get that early bird squirrel, usually one which is up a long time before any others. I'm hoping that this will come straight into the feeder because I want to get off to a really good start. My trail camera has picked up quite a few squirrels in the area. I think some of them don't actually know how to use this feeder yet. Generally, it tends to be the young ones. But I'm sure there's some here which know how to use it. I'm hoping this one knows how to. But this one fortunately finds a stray nut on the outside. It sits up nicely for me. First one of the morning. And take him with a nice clean headshot. That's a good start. On this particular permission, there are a few jays which are in this rather large woodland. We are allowed to control them here in England for 2022. They are part of the crow family, but because there are not too many jays around this area, the landowner has asked me just to leave them be because they're not causing a problem, so they're not on the list. But this grey little number is, and they need to be controlled. We got a couple here which are fighting with each other. But we've got one which looks like it's just going straight up to the feeder. And that's exactly what I want. I'm hoping it knows how the feeder works. Don't run off. Kicking and thrashing, perfectly normal, perfectly clean headshot. And it looks as if its friend is still loitering around. So I've just reloaded my rifle. I'm going to see if this one is going to be too nervous and run away or is it going to hang around. And we get ourselves a double. Up to now we've got three in the bag. So this morning is going quite well. And after that third one we have possible number four. This one is currently investigating the dead bodies which are slowly and surely starting to pile up just hoping that this one will make its way up to the feeder will this one know how to work the feeder unfortunately it does not
At first glance, with the way it fell down, it didn't look as if it was a clean shot. But, upon inspection, it was clean. We've got another squirrel coming in from quite a distance. Four in total now. This one came in within about 30 seconds after that last one. It didn't seem to be put off by the noise of the rifle. More noise comes from the actual pellet impact when it hits a cranium. This one's not so sure about the camera, and now it's not so sure about the feeder itself. Now this one looks like it's not sure how the feeder works. So it looks as if this one has been here before. It can smell there's something inside, but it can't get in. Hasn't quite figured it out. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be a missed opportunity. But fortunately, it finds something on the floor. That gives me that opportunity just to blast that one. Not long after getting our fifth one, Another squirrel comes in, straight up on top of the feeder, exactly what I want. But what I have noticed when a squirrel doesn't know how the feeder works, just has a little look around, usually gets on top of the feeder, and that's that. This one runs away, and I don't get an opportunity at this one. So at this point I decide I'll go retrieve those five. Gives me a chance just to stretch my legs as I've been sat down for quite a long time. Just tidy up the place just in case any other squirrels which are going to come in. Don't get too spooked. So I'm going to plunk myself down back into my little hide. This is called the bush from Bushware. Little pop up one man hide. Nice and cosy inside. If you keep yourself still enough, squirrels don't really see you. So now that I'm back in. We'll sit and wait and we'll get back to it. And just as I mentioned, this is how close some of the wildlife can get to you without being spooked. This nice little robin redbreast just comes to say hello. Looks as if possible number six is coming in. This was roughly three to four minutes after I got back into the hide. So fortunately, I didn't disturb too much. I've actually put a few peanuts out as well and it looks as if it's found some peanuts on the floor and that presents me a clear shot for this squirrel on the floor. And that takes our tally to six squirrels so far this morning. And it looks like the pheasants are back. This is later on in the morning now, so I've already got six squirrels. If I see an opportunity to take one of these pheasants, then I will do. But, as you can see with all the trees in my way, it's making it much more difficult. But I just see my opportunity just through that gap. And yeah, I hit the tree. I've currently got the rifle in my left shoulder because it's to my very far right. So it was an awkward position. I thought I could get it, but no. All I did was put a bit of lead straight into that tree. And surprisingly, with all this commotion, I didn't realise there was a squirrel on my feeder. So I quickly repositioned myself, ready to take that shot. And would you believe it? Guess what's appeared again? The morning has really pressed on now. It is getting quite late. I've got a decent bag of squirrels, seven in total. It's just, am I gonna get that opportunity for a pheasant? 
what doesn't help is all these trees I just need a pheasant just to stop in between the trees just keep its head still just for that moment as you all know pheasants just never stop bobbing their head but you only need that half a second for an opportunity just held its head there just long enough for me to get that shot and at this point I call it a day I managed to bag myself a pheasant and seven squirrels so I'm definitely happy with that result so what the plan is now is I'll go collect these squirrels and the pheasant and when I get home I'll prepare them for the pot That's this morning's session over. Seven squirrels and a bonus pheasant. Definitely not going to be complaining about that. There are a few more squirrels in this wood because I've seen them running around but they didn't commit to the feeder. So at some point again, I'll be back here. But just for now, seven squirrels, one pheasant. Really good morning. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this squirrel video. And I'll see you on the next one. So cheers for watching.